Coin6 helps a local mom get access to bus route records. Now, she's looking for another way to her daughter to get to school so she doesn't have to walk nearly a mile and a half. But the district wasn't going to let her look at the other possible bus routes until our Jennifer Dowling got involved. Jennifer's in the newsroom. She's got an update for us on all of this. Ann and Jeff, it took some effort to get those bus routes from the school transportation office. Coin6 had to send a legal reminder to the district of what is required under Oregon law. And mom Jennifer said she was frustrated it had to come down to that process. These aren't exempt from public disclosure. This was a power struggle. Jennifer, a single mom from Beaverton Public Schools, didn't want to be fully identified because of her job and legal services. She said she was concerned about having her daughter walk a mile and a half to school, crossing busy intersections and wooded areas. The school recommended a bus stop a half mile away on Hall, pending school approval. That's when Jennifer asked to see the bus routes and was denied. How does that make you feel as a parent that you weren't given all the information? It's, it's frustrating. We should all have the common goal of getting kids to school safely. COIN6 submitted a freedom of information request and was also initially denied. So our legal team sent a letter to the district. Shortly after, copies of the high school bus routes were released to COIN6. There's at least three buses, though, that, that go closer by the house. Jennifer said she found two buses that drive right by her address and an additional stop close by. You feel there's a simple solution here. You're just not a simple being... solution is, I mean, it's right here. The schedule is right here. The buses go right by the house. Um, I see the buses. They're not full. Transportation Director Jane Langwa denied an on-camera interview Wednesday. Instead, she released this written statement, saying she told Jennifer if she was requesting another stop, she would have to add that to her transportation service request so that our safety department could review it and we could check ridership. Generally, the requests will not begin to be processed until after the end of September, when accurate information is available on route ridership. I feel like it's still going to be an upwards battle, but at least now I'm armed with a little more information. And Jennifer says she plans to take her concerns to the PTO as well as the board. If she can't get her daughter on a bus quickly, she says she's been driving her to a local coffee shop to wait for about an hour before her daughter can walk to school in the morning. Wow. Jennifer, they, this is strange. You just wonder yeah. why, especially when you saw that a bus goes right by there, why they just don't allow her to get on that bus. Keep following this for us. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, Jeff.